we are about to multiply and divide negative numbers. This is quite similar to adding and subtracting and it's really easy to get them mixed up together. So make sure that you are practiced adding and subtracting and you're fine with that. Kind of draw a mental line, fresh start. We're now moving on to multiplying and dividing. So when you're multiplying and dividing negative numbers, it's super easy, by far my favorite thing to do. And it's an excellent thing to finish off this topic with because you'd think it would get more difficult as it goes on. No, not with multiplying and dividing. So when you multiply and divide negative numbers, you can tell the sign of the answer even before you've done the number part. So if you're multiplying two negative numbers together, the answer will be positive. If you're multiplying one negative and one positive, doesn't matter which way round you multiply them, the answer will be negative. So again, if they're the same sign, both negative, the answer comes out positive. If they're different signs, one positive, one negative, the answer comes out negative. And it's the same for dividing as well. If they're the same sign, if you're dividing two negative numbers, answer comes out positive. If you're dividing two numbers with different signs, one positive, one negative, the answer comes out negative. Let's look at some examples. Okay, multiplying and dividing negative numbers. So in this case, again, maths isn't about rules, but sometimes it can be helpful to, to think of some rules. Okay, so if the numbers are the same sign, the answer will be positive. If the numbers are different signs, the answer will be positive negative. So I mean we already kind of know this because if we did something like 6 times 4, well both of these are positive, they're the same sign, the answer will be positive and we already know, oh look at that, it's 24, it's positive. But if we had something like negative 3 times negative 5, okay so these two numbers have the same sign, the answer will be positive and the number part's just the same, 3 times 5 is 15. So we get 15. If we have negative 6 times 2, well, these numbers have different signs. So the answer, even before I know what it is, the answer will be negative 12. So same sign, positive answer different sign, negative answer. And it also doesn't matter which number is negative. If I had 4 times negative 3, then that's going to give me different signs. So the answer is still going to be negative and it will be 12. So you can tell what the answer will be, positive or negative, even before you know the number part. For example, if I have negative 0 0.456 times negative 2.4. Okay, I have no idea what the number part of this is, but I know that the answer will be positive. It's going to be a positive answer. Oh, I just realized I'm using my phone to film this, so I can't use my phone as a calculator. Give me a second. Okay, the answer is 1.0944, I hope. But the point is, I knew it was going to be positive before I had to do all of the number part. And for division, it works exactly the same. Negative 16 divided by 4, different signs, the answer is going to be negative, 16 divided by 4 is 4. 3 divided by negative 2, remember sometimes it could be in a bracket as well, well that's going to be negative 1.5 or negative 3 over 2. or negative one and a half, depending on how you like to see your answers. These are all the same numbers. But point remains the same. If the numbers have the same sign, the answer will be positive. If the numbers have a different sign, the answer will be negative. And hopefully now you can multiply and divide negative numbers so the world can't stop you now. Thank you, see you next time.